he was getting interviewed and he was saying, um, they asked him about the film and he was like, yeah, oh, I loved it. I loved the, the action in between. I thought the story was very strong. I thought the performances were great. And then right at the end of it, after him talking for five minutes, he was just blabbing on. Um, I turned around and said, bro, you, you were sleeping for the whole film. Who is the better blagger? I think you are. I, th I think I'll take that. He's really good at lying. Who would win in a straight fist fight? Don't let this size fool you. Just be honest, man. I would beat the crap out of you. Are we allowed to say crap? Yeah, of course you can. Yeah, I'll beat the crap out of you. Doesn't. Have you seen Bruce Lee? Right. He's nothing like that. <laughs> yeah. that's, that's what he's basically yeah. saying. Who's the best drinker? Yeah, uh, I, don't, I don't drink. I drink for the both of us. Traditionally, who's the better romancer out of you two? He's very emotionally intelligent. IQ wise, it's him. EQ wise, yeah. it's him. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so who takes longest to get ready? Night out ready. Oh, that's Hamza. Yeah, Straight away. That's Easy. Okay. It is it is pretty much me. Have you seen the ponytail? It, it depends on the hair. It has different personalities daily. I'd say I take care of my appearance. Really? I'd, I've tried to. Yeah. Well. <laughs> Who tells a better joke? That's, that's obviously going to be me. He is the best comedian you'll ever meet. Right. He has to say that because he's my manager. Okay. All right, well, Hamza. Yeah. Right. Turn to Danny right now and I want you to tell him exactly what he means to you as a friend. Uh, not much, but um, I think that. Without all jokes aside, because for the rest of my life, I would take the mick out of you. But um, yeah, I do definitely see you as uh, one of my closest friends, and I got your back. Yeah, thank you. That's very nice. Nice to hear. Is that it? I'm not going to get anything back. Oh, is, oh yeah. I've got to say, have I got to return the It'd favor? It'd be nice, isn't oh, it? Oh, sorry, I mean... sorry. You've... Yes, you take the piss out of me. Yeah, and I yes, do. In my head, I take the piss out of you, and my jokes are so much better. But obviously, I can't say them in case I get fired. Mm. Yeah. However, all jokes aside, you have made me become a better person, a better manager, and a better friend as a result of knowing you. So, thank you. Oh, thanks. I think it's, it's important as well because it's very hard for friends to talk on that level. I think, especially doing everything with mental health and and, and stuff, something that I've learned is just men have to be a bit more, I mean, you can all have a joke and have some bants and stuff, but sometimes you have to be on, on an emotional level as friends as well and be there for one another and, and, and be honest. I think that's pretty important. It's important that men feel comfortable with him, being vulnerable, being open. Yeah. It's not all about how to be the alpha male. And when men feel comfortable with opening up and talking about their feelings and stuff and that it's not unmanly, I think that's when will hopefully see a decrease in, you know, more mental health issues, cases, suicides ultimately, and that people feel it's okay to talk. <laughs>